Richard Curtis. Yeah! Oh, we're going back. Let's go back. We're going back. One more time. Come on, students. Big game today. Teachers feeling the love. You guys out there look great. Welcome to the show. Today, I have my three students taking on their three favorite teachers from Deptford High School in Gloucester County, New Jersey. They are officially in the classroom where students today are getting graded by the teachers. No, by me. That's right, Jersey. They know the drill. They showed up. They brought the entire cheer section. You guys look great out there. It's winner take all. $500 cash, bragging rights to say I'm smarter than my teacher. Can the students do it? We start with a pop quiz to find out. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Something about a raucous crowd puts a smile on my face. I'm ready to play. I hope you are too. Make sure you're playing along at home. Here we go with question one in Pop Quiz. What number is represented by the Roman numerals IV? First one in, Mrs. Davis. That's four. That is four. Tigress is a character in the Kung Fu Panda franchise, voiced by what Maleficent actress? First one in, Mr. Whitaker. Angelina Jolie. That's going to be two right for you. What is the name for scientists who study dinosaur bones or other fossils? David. Paleontologist. Good. On June 12, 1987, President Ronald Reagan addressed the leader of the Soviet Union in a speech asking him to tear down what structure? First one in, Mrs. Davis. The Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall is right. This sound, extra credit, this is worth double. Students, you can tie the game right here. What is the name of the California-born rapper who dated Halsey and collaborated on a song with her titled Him and I? First one in, Leah. G Easy. G Easy. Gerald Earl Gillum. That's right. Triton is the largest moon of what planet in our solar system? First one in, Mr. W. Jupiter. Incorrect. <laughs> Students for the steel. David. Saturn. We're looking for Neptune. In what division do the Philadelphia Phillies play? Mrs. Jenkins. The MLB. That's right. That is actually really good, Mrs. Jenkins. <laughs> Malia. NFC East. Oh, man. You guys are close. The NL East is what you're looking for. <laughs> According to a proverb, which city wasn't built in a day? Mrs. Davis. Rome. Rome is right. The peninsula of Florida is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean to the east and what body of water to the west? Mr. Whitaker. The Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, it's beautiful. And that is it for Pop Quiz. <laughs> I just clapped their stage just said, wow, you guys are in it. That's right. You're playing your teachers, and they're pretty smart. Hey, we're off to a great start, teachers. 50 points on the board for you guys. Good work. And students, 30 points for you. And if we learned anything from Pop Quiz, it's that no one up here watches baseball. All right. <laughs> we have the students and teachers today from Deptford High School in Deptford, New Jersey. They're known as the Spartans. Now, what do you say we meet some of those Spartans now? Hi, I'm Emily Owens. I'm a 12th grader at Deptford, and the teachers are going down. Hi, I'm Nalia Abney. I'm in 11th grade. I'm super excited to beat the teachers today. Hi, I'm David. Uh, I'm a junior, and I can't wait to win this. Hi, I'm Mrs. Davis. I teach 9th and 10th grade English, and I'm looking forward to a win against these kids today. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jenkins. I teach geometry, and I am plotting the demise of these students. Hi, I'm Mr. Whitaker. I teach their engineering and biomedical academies, and these students are going to need to be resuscitated when we're done with them. <laughs> Those intros were amazing. Teachers, you guys delivered. You had to have some sort of in-service day, and all you three did was just figure out your intros. We threw a little bit of our subjects in there. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, you guys did a good job. If you can bring that type of energy to our next game, you probably won't find yourself in detention. your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention 
margin will win 40 points. All right, we're going to start with the trailing team. So here we go. Emily, Nalia, and David, I'm going to give you this category as a team. Pass or play on science. Pass. Pass. Here we go. Uh-oh. Let me just say, Mr. Whitaker is a science teacher. I mean, you had all day to plan for this, but let's give it to the science. How many individual bones make up the average human spinal column? You can talk about it. He's literally counting the names of the spines right now. <laughs> Students pass early. Let's see how well this pays off. I need an answer, guys. 19. 19? No. 33 is the right answer. And how about it? Students, you guys pass it to your science teacher. They get it wrong. And now, you guys use it. Who's going? Who's going? We're going to get Mr. Whitaker selling to the senses. You guys knew that pretty fast. Did he do something in class that uh, got him there first? No, he's actually a really chill teacher. All right, nice. He well, he's just a much. very intelligent man. Now he finds yeah. himself his attention. All right, our two teachers. Here's your category is geography. Pass. Pass. Back to you guys. Let's see how well you do. Which African nation has the most pyramids? Egypt? Looking for Sudan was the right one, and back-to-back -back passes have helped these two teams. We move along. Is it Emily, Nalia, or David? Never thought I'd say this, but Nalia is going to detention. Nalia, out of there. Hey, she's our only junior. Oh, no, David's a junior, but we have two juniors playing today. Very cool to see you guys representing that junior class, and now we move back to you guys. Celebrities is your category. I'm not. I guess we'll pass it. Wow. Triple pass. Here we go. Okay. Damon Thomas is which Kardashian's first husband? The only one that had a first husband was Kim. 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 Are you sure? No. Oh my God. She said, are you sure? She said, nope. <laughs> Kim Kardashian? That's going to get it done. Oh, <laughs> Emily, you just slapped the table. Did you know that one? No. Okay. <laughs> Who's going to go to detention next? What do you want to do? Okay. Emily? Mm -hmm. Emily. Emily! Leaving David by himself. Woo. Category's not yours, though, so I'm going to head back to the teachers. Oh, okay. Now, if you don't feel like you know this and you want to send it to David and say, prove it, how do you feel about games? Oh. What kind of games? Oh, you're not going to talk. You can talk about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no. Pass. 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 Here we go, David. In what classic single-player card game does the player deal out cards into columns and use the stockpile to attempt to stack cards by suit and in order? Solitaire. Boom! David gets it right! How about it's pass back and forth day here on the classroom. <laughs> David, which teacher do you send, Mrs. Jenkins or Mrs. Davis? Um, Miss Jenkins. <laughs> Mrs. Jenkins out of the game now. This, Leaving David and this. Mrs. Davis <laughs> all right. by themselves. How about this one? They passed it to you. You can win the game if you keep the category. Or if she doesn't know it, you can win it as well. But if she gets it right, you're out. Category, economics. You just sent the math teacher <laughs> to detention. Could be a good play for you. I'm pass. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to talk out some strategy here. This okay. Be anywhere. What type of integration takes place when a company <laughs> acquires or merges with another company that operates at the same level in an industry and produces similar goods or services, sometimes leading to a monopoly? I have no idea. <laughs> David with a great pass and wins detention. Mrs. Davis goes to detention and the students celebrate. David wins the round. It was horizontal or lateral we would have taken there. Hey, we are having a great time with the show today. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, one of these three is taking their skills to art class. Great win, guys. David passes it.
Thank you, cheer squad. On the show today, it's the students and teachers from Deptford High School in Gloucester County. Look, I've, I've had to come see what these guys were doing because you have been so loud all day. Where does the energy levels for this school come from? Just a pride. That's what it is, huh? Yeah. So you, uh, were you pretty proud up there seeing all those passes back and forth during detention? I was kind of disappointed because they, they should just know. They should. Whoa! She's talking trash. I love it. Well, I'll tell you what. You don't have to play today, but they do. We got a game on our hands. It's our class. Let's go. Here's how this game will work. Each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team will go first, so Mr. Whitaker's up with me now. He's going to select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. He's going to have five seconds and five seconds only to draw. Teammates, you'll have ten seconds to come up with one guess. The correct answer here is 30 points. If you get it wrong, I'll give you a few more chances, but the points do decrease. Now, Mr. Whitaker, red or blue? Take the blue, open it immediately back here. I'm going to uncap your marker for you. On a scale of one to ten, what do you rate your art skills? Um, nine. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Good score. Here we go. Five seconds starts right now. Okay, stop. Woo! You ready? What are we talking about, guys? A light switch. Oh, my God. A light switch. Oh, wait up. A light switch. A light switch. You're going to switch over here, Mr. Yes. Whitaker, with Emily. Yes. <laughs> Emily, I'm going to give you your card, and you're going to open this immediately right behind this board here as I clean off your board. Mr. Whitaker put, he put the uh, pressure on you here, mm -hmm. but I think you can do it. You ready? Five seconds starts right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, that five seconds goes quick. Here we go. We switch it back around. You have five seconds to continue the drawing or start a new one. Starts right now. I can't stress enough how fast this five seconds does go. Okay. Oh. Ten seconds, guys. I think we're ready. Okay, let's do it. Cry out. Oh, there she goes. Emily fires away, gets it in the second round. Hey, that addition to the drawing was perfect. Nicely done. That is how you play art class. Now, before we go to break, there are more points on the line. Who wants some extra credit? All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break. Correct answer here is 10 points. That's how much extra credit's on the line. Let's do it. What is the term for a regularly updated website, like an online journal, typically run by an individual or small group and written in an informal style? That's the extra credit today. I love it. Hopefully they get it. Hopefully you get it at home. We're going to see you after the break. Great job. That was awesome. I love You spent half the... a big episode today. It's the teachers and students from Deptford High School in Gloucester County. Students, 10-point lead right now. Teachers, 80 points for you. Both sides are playing a great game. A lot on the line. Before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question worth 10 points. What is the term for a regularly updated website, like an online journal, typically run by an individual or small group and written in informal style? Teachers, we'll start with you. Blog. Blog is right. There's 10 points. We got a tie game, but... The students have to answer still, and Emily's giving us those shoulders. I'm guessing with those shoulder thing going on, you have the right answer. Blog. Blog is right. All right, cool. Look, you're, you're on your way right now to winning $500. What are you guys going to do it if you win? Um, we're going to donate to SGA, Student Government Association. That's a great place to put it. Now, speaking of checks, David, you speak check. I want you to say, I'm going to beat the teachers today on the classroom. All right, I think he's right. I think he's right. I'm not sure, though. 
Mrs. Davis, where's your money gonna go? We are uh, putting our money towards the Renaissance Club. Awesome, two great places to put it. I'll tell you what, everyone's smiling ear to ear, and they should be, we're playing a great game, but how well will their picture turn out? It's picture day! Teams, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing. We're going to go ahead and cover them with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues, one at a time. With each clue I give you, I'll remove three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the picture is going to win 10 points for your team. You get it wrong, your side's locked out. The other side can jump in and still steal. Three pictures today are on the line. Let's do this thing with this first clue. This person is a comedian. Buzzer stay silent. I give you clue two with three more pictures. This comedian and actor has a son named Gene. Buzzer stay silent again. We move to question three. She starred in Trainwreck and I Feel Pretty. First one in, Mrs. Jenkins. Amy Schumer. Is that Amy Schumer? That sure is. Amy Schumer gets you guys up to 100. Let's take a look at our second picture. Here we go. This is actually a mausoleum. Clue two. It is made of white marble. And, oh, first one in, David. Taj Mahal. Is that the Taj Mahal? That's the Taj Mahal. The crowd erupts. They love that answer from David. Nicely done. That gets you up to 110. Let's see if we can do it with picture number three. This person changed their first name. Clue two, here we go. In 2011, Forbes listed him as the highest paid man in entertainment. First one in, Mrs. Davis. Sean Combs. Is that Sean Combs? Free guess here, students, if you want it. They don't want it. Here we go. Clue three. This writer, director, and actor is known for his character, Medea. Mrs. Jenkins. Tyler Perry. Is that Tyler Perry for the tie? That is Tyler Perry for the tie. And how about it after picture day? The scores stand 110 for our students, 110 for our teachers, and this game goes into the final exam. your topic it's flying high this means all the questions have something to do with the word flying here we go three questions 100 points each let's do it with this first question what large north american butterflies known for their orange wings with black vein like markings make a two-way migration to overwinter in california and mexico question two what rappers the carter five album includes a song titled let it fly Last one, what is the name of the famous rigid airship that caught fire and crashed in New Jersey in 1937? There are your questions. 60 seconds on the clock. When we come back, will it be my students to my right who say I'm smarter than my teacher or the teachers saying not today, kids. This is our game and we're winning this thing. We're going to come back and find out, but before you go, here is how your school can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Teachers from Deptford High School going head-to-head. -head. Scores, teachers 110, students 110. I could say that in any way. It doesn't matter. They are deadlocked, tied up. The topic of today's final exam is flying high. That means all of them have something to do with flying or something with flying in the words. Before the break, both teams heard three questions. Each correct answer they get right is 100 points for their score. Let's get into it. What large North American butterflies, known for their orange wings with black vein-like markings, make a two-way migration to overwinter in California and Mexico? Students, we start with you, David. Monarchs. Monarchs is right. Get you up to 210. Let's jump over to the teachers. Mr. Whitaker, you guys said. I put monarch butterfly. That is going to do it. We stay tied and move to question two. 
What rapper's The Carter Five album includes a song titled Let It Fly? Students, we go back to you. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is right. Catch you up to 310. And Mrs. Jenkins, we now go back over to you as the last answer filled out on your side. And then you came out of nowhere and said. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is right. It stays tied and we are in the final question. Get it right and the other team doesn't and you walk away $500 richer. Here we go. What is the name of the famous rigid airship? that caught fire and crashed in New Jersey in 1937. Students, we go to you, Emily. No idea. Oh, no. <laughs> Leave the door open for the teachers. If you say the right answer here, $500 is going back with you guys, and you can say you're smarter than your students. You said the Hindenburg. The Hindenburg is right, and teachers win the game. Wow. What a battle here today classroom this is what it's all about students and teachers are having a blast i hope you guys had a good time today cheerleaders you guys have been